Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can create a child theme of storefront theme that is basically default theme uh, for lots of stores uh, powered by WooCommerce, okay? So, it's, it's preferred basically. A lot of store owners use a WooCommerce uh, WooCommerce's storefront theme that is a great theme it has really cool features so what I'm gonna do show in this video basically demonstrate how you can create a child theme of the storefront theme and start customizing it start adding uh, basically your own CSS and make it making that particular child theme unique and custom to your business requirements so you can see this is basically a child theme of a store um, storefronts theme with little bit of tweak you can definitely do this tweak on your store for so i am not showing all of these that is by default with storefronts theme but i'm using some of their features on this child theme so let me quickly go ahead and show you how you can create this theme child theme based on based on WooCommerce's uh, storefront theme and make it your own okay so this is a theme that is basically a child theme of store theme and 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 if you go to theme editor you can see this is a storefront style theme I've added a custom style and a few functions so what's not you can do anything with this right so what i'm going to do i'm copy this i'm going to copy this nq script and create a child theme in this demonstration video so this is a local environment i'm running xm that runs apache and my sql basically maria db on my local host and these are under my HD docs. So this PC, you can go to this PC. C drive wherever your XM is installed. Okay, then go to HD docs, and wherever your WordPress is installed, mine is here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do under themes, you can see, I've got these many themes, and this is a zip file of this particular theme. So basically, I need this URL okay uh, and what I'm going to do I'm going to open CMD in this particular URL I don't need to be in the themes URL to generate a theme so I'm going to show you how you can generate a child theme with WPCLI make sure you've got WPCLI installed and it is already working if you need help you can go ahead and find a video on my channel on how to install and run WPCLI on Windows Hopefully, you can follow, find another video if you're on Mac. Okay, Mac, not Mac, uh, Linux. So, WPCLI, you can basically run WP Help to learn more about the available commands. Okay, WP Help is another command. I'm sorry. So, we are going to use WP Help uh, old child theme. Okay, so basically. It, it shows how you can run this command so we need to run wp scaffold child theme name of the child theme and the source to the parent theme this theme this theme must be installed on this particular uh, installation on your wordpress in the directory where this cli is running okay so apologies so we are going to run wp uh old child yes child i'm sorry theme and then the name of the theme so who child oops theme who child theme and the parent parent name is going to be oops single one okay so right Okay, so before you run this command, make sure you've got storefront installed on your 
uh, installation WordPress instance. Now you can run if you're going to typo, it's going to throw in error and you can then correct yourself. Yeah, so success created this in the right directory. You can see WP content themes and then and then the child themes. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to close this. I don't need any it anymore. And then go to this directory, get into this. You can see this, this just created. Uh, you also need this basic. This is basically uh, okay. We can create that from Sublime Text. Anyway, so before I do anything, I need this URL. If I want to come back here, so all right. So I'm going to open this folder in the uh, Sublime Text. You can see. But this is basically preferences, tab, size, indenter, indention, etc. etc. I don't need that. I've got this style.css, functions.php, and this is basically enqueuing uh, scripts. So I'm going to write my own NQ script, and you can see. I got this here, so I need to just create this custom.css in this folder, in this themes folder. Touch custom.css has been created, and I'm going to save it. But I also have custom.css uh, CSS from my previous. Um, theme that I can go ahead and paste in here and so to show you this is how it works by the way if you need this particular theme it's available on my github so you can download from there so if I refresh you'll see another theme based off this particular storefront so this is a child theme of storefront it's missing screenshot so what i'm going to do i'm going to pull in the screenshot that i just i think i have created okay uh, i have created one so let me see let me see if i have in my clipboard i think i already have okay so but where is this i'm going to uh let me check how do you do this people mm. where is it this where is this thing here png where is that png stuff okay so what i can do since screenshot No, not this one, not this one. Custom commerce, oh, not this one too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one, okay? So I'm going to create one screenshot and put in this particular folder. Themes, child theme folder. So basically, this should be all right, okay? So I'm going to change this. This has to be saved. So what I've done here, I'm going to save in that particular themes location. If you remember, I copied that. Locations, themes locations you are now you should be all right. And done. Uh, Almost we are done creating a child theme and it is going to work. So I'm going to activate it. Yeah, so you can see it's going to be activated and visible on our front page. You won't see any difference because I already have two child theme based on that particular theme. And you can see 
this is how you can create a child theme based off that particular any particular theme in wordpress from wordpress themes directory and the difference between these two local themes that you see here is this tab so if i go ahead and activate the previous antique mart one you can see this is different tab here so it this one has only this our happy clients this is basically review tab so you can customize it to your liking so this particular theme has like i have added custom css that makes this card and a little bit of styling that you can see here anyway so what i'm going to do this is how you can create a child theme based off any uh, wordpress theme in this case it's a storefront and then add your script to uh, nq your custom css add your screenshot and the sky is limit then you can start adding like so if i go to this uh, themes file editor for nt you can see i've got functions.php where i have added lots of a few custom uh, what do you call it functions that is basically customizing the features of this particular theme okay so if you need any help support you can always get in touch with me or if you need this particular theme you do not want to get into this cli and creating a child theme you can quickly download it from my github repo i'll leave the link in the description thank you for watching goodbye for now.